Hi, it's Kevin Burchett, Auctioneer, with ColumbusOnlineAuctions.com. Thanks for taking a second to watch the seller's footprints to getting an auction done. The first step is a free consultation. I come to your home, that's when you can look at me, look me in the eye, make sure you feel good about my company, and that's when we'll look at your merchandise as to the quality and to the quantity, and to make sure there's not something in your home that I would recommend, perhaps Sotheby's or Christie's or one of the national auction houses. If it's too big for my market, I'll tell you. Step two, we need you to make sharp decisions. Good decisions on what sells and what doesn't sell, what the kids might want, what your neighbor might want out of your home. You'll need to know if that lamp sells or does your daughter want that lamp. You have to make those decisions before we come to actually make the catalog. Very important to make yes or no decisions so that we can only put on the catalog what definitely sells. Step three. We'll come back another day and with my uh, photographer and an auction manager, auction writer. They will photograph the items in your house. They'll take a picture of the a chest of drawers. They'll write a few notes on the kind of oak, the dimensions, the condition. They'll do that throughout the house. That may be a morning process on one day and an afternoon process on the next, depending on how big your estate is. That's called auction writing. Then they go home and they will post that on the internet. Step four, the auctions uh, will last about seven days, five days, six days, maybe eight days, depending on what happens in that week, what kind of holidays might be in that week, or what's on TV even matters that week. We don't want to end an auction during American Idol finals. We don't want to compete with anything. We want to give you the best shot at the public's attention. So when the auction is over, after that week, we've not been in your home since we took the pictures. That whole week, your home is, is empty. Your home is your home. There are numbers on your items. But uh, the very last day of the auction, when the auction is over, we send out invoices. We'll send out hundreds and hundreds of invoices for all of the auctions that ended that night. On that invoice, people will then know that's when they know your address. That's when they know what time to pick the items up and where to pick them up. So prior to that, we haven't published your address. No one's going to knock on your door on day two and say, hey, can I see that lawnmower that Kevin has on the website? No, that's all private information uh, except for the location. We might say a home in Westerville and the pickup is Thursday between three and six, but that's all they'll know. Until the invoice comes out, the night the auction ends, that tells them how much they owe and it tells them what the address is. So I have a staff there a half hour before the pickup time and they are preparing a cash box. They'll have the cash box. They'll have a stack of invoices. They'll greet the customers. They'll take their invoice. They'll collect the money and then they'll say uh, order up and one of their assistants will go get the lamp and the skateboard and the lawnmower and bring them out to the garage or out to the pickup area uh, and the consumer will put them in their car and they will take off. The beautiful thing about there being a three hour pickup, usually between three and 6 p.m., is there's not a line of cars to, to, to pull up. There'll only be two or three cars there at a time. And of course, since they're there to pick up, since they're already dedicated to buy, there's no looky-loos that are just pulling on your lot and shopping. That makes it great for condos. That way cars don't block driveways and, and pull in and pull out and leave prints on your nice blacktop driveways because that's what a looky-loo will do. They'll pull in, they'll take a look around your house, they'll walk through your carpet, you know, on a tag sale situation, and then they'll just pull out and not buy anything. At an auction, the only reason they pull into your property is to pick an item up and pay for it, and there's usually not more than two or three cars there at a time. The final step, the final step is we pay you within 10 business days. That money is yours. We don't believe in holding it for 30 or 60 or 90 days in escrow. We're going to get that money back to you in 10 days so you can get on with your business. Thanks for being here. Kevin Burchett, Auctioneer.